what is up guys, this is Kyle from KGR and today we're going to be doing a review on the SH Figure Arts Yoshi. Now this figure has just come out and this is going to be a really awesome review hopefully. Now I've also done an unboxing of this guy so if you want to check that out you can click right on the screen you'll be sent to a new tab so you don't have to leave this video and then once that video is done you can just come back and continue watching this. But anyway we're going to be going over the sculpt, the articulation, all the accessories, pros cons and pretty much what I overall think of it now first up let's go over the paint job and the sculpt all right so let's take a look at the paint job now it's a cartoonic character so there's not too much attention to detail that needs to go into this thing but unfortunately there are a few things that they have screwed up on these few things that are happening are probably just my figure here across the chest more like the belly actually you can see a couple of white dots that's probably just a little bit too much paint i'm not sure how well the camera can pick that up but you could probably see it and then here on the saddle right here you can see a little bit of red right there so that's not the greatest thing in the world but oh well and then here right back here we got a little bit of a scuff mark as well again not the greatest thing in the world ah. It's still a great figure nevertheless, but here, one thing that's probably going to be happening on most figures is here, when these legs are tucked in like this, and they're eventually going to be moved and articulated, paint will transfer, and that's not a good sign. kind of sucks, honestly. I personally don't mind too much, but it's still something that you should fault it for. But overall, the paint job is still very good. I'm really proud of this figure. This thing, that kind of annoying, but these other things that are happening, that's probably just my figure. So if you pick one up, you probably won't see it yourself. And the paint job on the eyes, I'm actually really impressed with. Now, normally with Mario and Luigi, here the eyes will be pretty much covered with plastic because they don't have to move at all, and you don't have to interchange them or anything. But they still kind of give off that same effect on Yoshi's eyes, which is really, really good. Now let's go over articulation. We got a head swivel right here, but it only goes so much because of the cheeks cutting off the articulation but then here he goes back on a rocker and here right here this thing also moves so articulation is not hindered too badly but it is hindered a little bit the saddle also moves up and down depending on how you want to have it set up i personally like to have it down here because i think it looks its best here the mouth also moves and here you can actually switch out the tongue but we'll go over that shortly then we got universal shoulders, so they go outwards, and this is actually the farthest I've ever seen a Mario figure go up this high, because normally the Mario figures don't have that well articulation, so the fact that it can go up that high, I'm honestly quite impressed. Then it can go forwards and backwards, and then we get less than 90 degrees of a bend, and then we get a swivel right here and then it's also on a rocker so it can go forward and back now you would think it looks like a ball peg but honestly no it only goes this way it does not turn which is kind of a shame but oh well and oh his, his head came off yay okay also then we get universal legs so they go outwards forwards and backwards but i don't really like how this is set up because when you try to move his leg forward well then his foot goes outwards and that's normally what i hated about older figures and i was hoping these kind of figures would fix that but unfortunately they couldn't do it i would have thought they would have probably sanded off a little bit more but they probably would have made the sculpt look so ugly like how the mouth and the cheeks are kind of ugly right there but when you actually have the figure in real life you honestly barely tell these things always look better in real life than they do on actual video now i know anthony's custom had a figure and here one foot was actually painted in the, differently than the other and that really sucks for him, but fortunately that didn't really happen to me. At least that's not what I'm seeing. I'm really happy about that. Paint job, at least when it comes to the greens, they're all even, and I apologize for hitting the camera. Overall, it looks fantastic. Oh yeah, we also got some ankle articulation going on here. It's pretty much, I don't want to say it's a ball joint, but it's universal. It can go around wherever it wants. So that's very, very nice. So overall, I'm somewhat impressed with the articulation. I'm mainly impressed with the shoulder articulation because I didn't expect it to go up that high, but I'm really happy this figure can do that. So hopefully the Fire Mario will have improved articulation, probably not, we'll see what happens. Let's go over the accessories. And this is what Yoshi comes with. Now here if you got this off Ami Ami or if you got it directly from Japan, pretty much Ami Ami, here you also got a little bit of a bonus if you got this at launch. Now you got a 1-up sign which looks absolutely Fantastic. Hopefully the camera will autofocus on it. And then we also got a one-up mushroom, which looks 
absolutely awesome. I'm really happy with this. It's pretty much like a red mushroom, but just painted green. And I gotta say, I'm really, really loving it. It's so awesome. Excellent pre-order bonus. So here we got another hand, like it's an open palm with the egg in it. Now, personally, with this, I'm actually not too happy with, mainly because here the hand cannot come off the egg. And I personally think they should have been able to take that off, maybe have a peg in or be like the Koopa shell where it has a clear peg that goes from the hand to the egg so it sticks in and stuff like that. But nope, they decided not to do that with this one. And personally, I don't think they, sh they didn't have to put in this giant seam line and these circles and stuff like that just to make sure the paint's on. Because here Jack Specific came out with their own Yoshi with, their, with its own egg. And the egg on that honestly looks a lot better. It's glossy, there's no seam lines, there's no circles around these circles. It just overall looks a lot better than this. From Tamashii Nation's quality, I would have expected a lot more, but unfortunately you don't get that here. Then we get another open hand, which it's an open hand. Uh, I wish this was another open hand, but alas. Okay, then we get the base and a small stand, so it can't really do too much. We got a replacement tongue, which I'm really, really happy with. This thing is way too cool. And then we got replacement eyes. Normally you would get a whole replacement face, but since it's Yoshi, you only need the eyes. And then we got two different replacement saddles. Now this one is made specifically for Luigi, and then this one was made for Mario. Now the way that they're also positioned also differs too. I'll be showing that off as well. So first up, let's show off how we switch off the eyes. Now first up, we gotta pull off the eyes right here. And I gotta say, like it looks fantastic. You wouldn't even guess that the eyes could actually come off. It looks seamless. It looks awesome. But anyway, pull it off and pull these out and then replace them with these eyes. These are actually the eyes that actually comes packaged with as well if you checked out the unboxing. And there you go. Doesn't he look much better in this? Oh, I think he does. And then if you want to replace the tongue, what you got to do is take off the head and then pull out the mouth as far as you can and get your fingernail in and pull that out and then pretty much just replace it like that. Now, when I was first doing the unboxing, I had a hard time getting the tongue to stick in there properly. Now, playing with it a little bit more, it seems to be hit and miss. Like, after you play with it a little bit more often, you probably have a general idea of how it goes in. So hopefully you won't be suffering with it too much anymore. But still, it was something I need to address nevertheless. And you also gotta be careful when you're messing with this thing because when you try to move his head down a little bit, it may try to push his tongue out and it'll just fall out. Luckily, it's easy to pop back in, but again, something to mention. Here he has a hole around his, uh, his or her no-no zone and you just pretty much plug that in right here. Now, what I don't like about this is here you gotta put it in at an angle and you don't, you can't really tell too much, but hopefully you can see. It's at an angle, so when you try to put it in, di in the different position, he looks like he's not standing evenly. It looks, or if he's jumping, he doesn't look like he's jumping evenly. It's just overall not that amazing. So anyway, then you just plug it in the base right here. There we go. Now he doesn't look too bad, but when I have him on a giant stand with Mario running on his back, it looks kind of awkward. Maybe they did this on purpose, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor. So anyway, let's take him off the base. Let's put that regular tongue back in. There we go. So if you want to swap out the hands, it's pretty simple. Just pull it out, and it's actually super easy to pull it out. Like It's actually a lot easier than I expected. Sometimes you struggle a little bit, and then you pull it out, but no, it comes off completely seamlessly. Again, then we're going to pull off the other hand. Let's show him holding the eggs. I never did that in my unboxing. So there you go. It, he never lets go, unfortunately. So if you want to you want to launch it. Yeah, he won't launch it. Let's switch him back to the fists. Because personally, I like the fists a lot more. And his arm came off. I managed to fix it. It was just a simple pop in and out, but I honestly thought I broke him and I was scared crapless. Now, let's play with the saddles. Now, what you gotta do is simply just pull this off. Here, I mentioned earlier that this thing can position any way you want. Anyway, you pull it off 
and then you let's get the Mario one now the one that's Mario is here that this little saddle thing right here this is actually the smaller one and the bigger one is actually for Luigi because this one actually has a crotch area for Luigi so we're trying to remember that anyway so there's two different ways that you can fit this in and this is actually mainly for not only the tongue display piece but also the way how Mario or Luigi ride him now if you have it down like this this is mainly for Luigi but for Mario you want to have it tucked in all the way up and then we have to pull out our Mario hey how you doing all right there we go spread his legs out a little bit and then you just pretty much slide him in make sure his butt lines up properly and for some reason it doesn't want to do that there we go now the way that he fits in it's honestly kind of awkward like it, he doesn't fall off real easily which is good but the way that he fits on uh i don't know i kind of wish they would have had like a peg in right here since you know there's obviously a spot for a peg i guess they didn't have to so they didn't want to usually toy companies are like oh we don't have to do this but we'll throw it in anyway but when it comes to the mario line the tamashi nations is not really doing the best job but then again, they're trying to keep the sculpt as well as they can. And unfortunately, you lose a lot of things when they try to keep that sculpt right. He rides him pretty well. He doesn't fall off too easily. Like, if you move him, as you can tell, he's not falling off all that much. So that's very, very awesome. But again, the way that he sits is kind of awkward. He doesn't, like, sit in beautifully well. But he still fits on, and that's all that matters. Now, if you want to see how Luigi rides him, let's just take Mario off. Take this panel off switch with the other saddle which is buried down here for some dumb reason anyway tuck it in tuck it in and then we gotta slide it all the way down the way that this saddle looks it looks really awkward because it's all squished up it looks like it was like a gusher or something and then someone just squeezed the crap out of it but anyway let's get luigi over here hey how you doing that was a terrible luigi impression that sounded more like just no never <laughs> never again i'm sorry Anyway, so you want to bend his knees when he's riding him. I don't know why he has to, but that's just the way he fits. And he fits in his saddle a lot better than Mario fits in his. I wish Mario fit in his a lot better, but man, Luigi fits in freaking flawlessly. It's like absolutely perfect. I love it. I guess Luigi was best made for Yoshi. Mario, I'm sorry, man, but you're not. Still love you, bro. Still love you. Looks like the year of Luigi shines on! Ha ha! So overall, what do I think about this figure? Despite the few flaws that this figure has, like the paint transfer on the legs and the fact that the hand and the egg are not two separate things and the fact that the egg doesn't look as good as the Jack specific version, which is much cheaper, he's still the best Yoshi figure we ever had and quite possibly the best one we're ever gonna get. I always wanted a Yoshi figure that would allow Mario to ride him and for years we never had that and now thanks to Tamashi Nations we're finally able to do that. And if you're like me and you have all the diorama sets and all the figures, you will have an amazing time with this figure. And the green mushroom and the one up, that is awesome. I absolutely love this thing. And for those of you who might be picking this up late, it's unfortunate that you won't be able to get this as well. But overall, I think this is an awesome package and I think you should pick this up. You can pick these up just about anywhere, like Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, MH Toy Shop, places like that. But personally, I highly recommend getting this from Ami Ami. Link will be in the description because then you'll also get the 1UP and the 1UP Mushroom. And plus, it's the cheapest. You're probably going to spend about 35 36 bucks, maybe a little bit less than that, honestly. And normally with other sites, it'll be 35 plus shipping. Now let me know in the comments what you think of this review and do you plan on picking this figure up. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, then don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. Especially my Instagram because I always post pictures of figures and stuff. And anyway guys, I will see you guys in the next one.